Good morning, Year 11, 12 and 13 students. Um, speaking to you is Miss Walker, Deputy Head Teacher, and I'm joined by Mrs Bailey, Assistant Head and Head of Sixth Form. Please note that this assembly is a pre-record. Um, it's been loaded onto Teams so that you can watch it when it's convenient for you. At the end of the assembly, you will see our email addresses so you'll be able to contact us with any questions. The purpose of this assembly is to explain what we know so far about this summer's exams. There is a note of caution. Much of what is happening is still unclear. But we wanted to share with you what we do know and how you can prepare for what's coming. As you know, the pandemic is a fast moving situation and things are changing very quickly. What we are saying today is accurate today but government may change their policies in the coming weeks and months. We will issue updates through assemblies like this one and through parent mails to your parents and carers. This year's exams, what do we definitely know? Well, February BTEC exams for Year 11 Health and Social Care have now been cancelled. And we also know that the GCSEs and A-levels are not going ahead as planned. We recognise that this is incredibly frustrating for you to not know these answers. It's also really difficult for us as teachers. Just like you, we are waiting to be told what the plans for reaching your grades will be. As soon as we know, you will be told. So in terms of deciding how your grades will actually be decided, this is what we know will happen next. The Secretary of State for Education, Gavin Williamson, this week has written to Ofqual. You may or may not know, but they are the organisation responsible for deciding what all the exam boards will do. And Gavin Williamson has set out what he would like to happen this summer. And he has suggested the following. To begin with, he would like there to be a process where teachers will submit assessed grades for students. Those grades might include a based on mini exams that you will take. So you might take a shorter exam that would go towards helping to decide what your teacher assessed grade would be. The government have said that they're definitely not going to use an algorithm to calculate grades. You might remember that last year, this is what happened with GCSE and A-level exams. It worked very badly, so they've said they're definitely not going to do that. Gavin Williamson has also said that he doesn't want to moderate most teacher assessed grades. As you may know, moderating is when a grade is moved up or down. In last year's process, when grades were calculated, about 40% of grades were moderated upwards or downwards before the government U-turned and reinstated the original grades. Gavin Williamson has said that he would like only grades to be moderated in exceptional cases this year. He has said that he would like grades to be issued as late in the year as possible so that you have more time to make progress and demonstrate your achievements. If you were scheduled to take summer BTEC exams this year in health and social care, travel and tourism or sport, they probably will not go ahead. And lastly, the Secretary of State for Education has said that students should be entitled to an appeals process so that if you disagree with your grade, you can do something about it. But all of this is just a suggestion. Ofqual will take these ideas and run a consultation for people to respond to these proposals. So after February half term, we may have a clearer idea of what is definitely going to happen, but it could be later than this. So in terms of what this actually means for you, it's a frustrating situation because there is a great deal that is still unclear. You as students need to be prepared for the possibility of mini exams in your subject, as well as being prepared for other forms of teacher assessment. Because we don't know for certainty what is going to happen, we need to be prepared for a whole range of options. For example, if schools are asked to submit teacher grades, we may well have to look at your mock results, any coursework you had completed 
and your in-class assessments and work. So this is incredibly important. What it means is that you need to keep revising. You need to keep going to online lessons. You need to keep submitting work and you need to finish all coursework for all your courses to the best of your ability. Now, those of those among you who might be studying BTEX might think that this doesn't apply to you. It does. It is extremely important that you continue finishing all of your BTEC coursework and attending all of your lessons. We've had a lot of questions from year 11 students asking what will happen about the PPEs that were in the calendar for after half term. It is safe to say that there will be some kind of mock exam assessment after half term. However, exactly what happens and how it happens will depend on the decisions that the government makes about how grades will be decided and the evolving pandemic. At the moment, for instance, we don't know with certainty whether you will be back in school after half term or not. And we don't want you to take mock exams on bits of the course that you're actually not going to end up being assessed on. We do want you to do mocks, but we need to make sure that they are purposeful and that they are done in the right way. So for the moment, you need to keep revising so that you are prepared to take an exam on everything you've studied. The same way that year 11, 12 and 13 students normally would at this time. That way you are prepared for anything that might happen and we will keep you informed of our plans. As we told you in October, the most important thing is not to panic. Every lesson has always mattered. So, so, so every online math, every online lesson still matters. You, because you've learned something new in it. Every assignment that you've done has always mattered because it's shown you it's shown you what you know and what you don't. And every piece of coursework has always mattered because it's given you the chance to show your work at, the, at your very best standard. We want to reassure you too that in many ways you were prepared than a lot of, you were more prepared than a lot of other students in the country. Your GCC courses are three years long when many students in the country only study them in two. You have a support of your staff. We are still doing online lessons. We are still in contact and we are doing weekly kick calls to ensure that everybody in year 11, 12 and 13 is able to access their work and to support them during this pandemic. These things have always mattered, but they matter now more than ever because they may be used in a different way. And unfortunately, at this moment in time, we do not know how we will be assessing your work. So everybody, everyone attend their lessons, complete all the assignments you need and complete your coursework. And as Mrs Bailey said, we are here for you. If you've got a question about a specific subject, email your subject teacher. Your head of year and your pastoral care leader are here if you want to chat. And if you have specific questions about exams this summer and how they're going to work or how your coursework might be used, mine and Mrs Bailey's email addresses are on the screen right now. We are really sorry that we can't give you a fuller picture of exactly what's going to happen at the moment. I can only imagine how frustrating and stressful this must be for you. But we are here to walk alongside you every single step of the way. Whatever happens, we will be here. We will do our utmost to make sure that you can reach your next steps and go where you want to go next. And you can help do that too by, as Miss said, turning up to every lesson, doing every mock to the best of your ability and completing all of your coursework. If you're worried or concerned, reach out and talk to someone. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
St. John Fisher, pray for us. 